going on YouTubers? I'm going to do a quick video on how to one hand manual a BMX bike. Um, this is something I learned a couple of years ago. I didn't even know this was a trick until I was watching a Sputnik BMX video with pro rider Alex Vasquez and seeing him do those one hand manuals heavily inspired me to go out and try it and uh, it took me a couple months to dial them in but I got them, so they're really fun to do. It's a really fun trick. Um, number one, you're gonna have to have regular manuals dialed in on point before you try one hand manual. Um, number two, I made a mistake when I was first trying to learn this trick that when I was when I was um, getting into the trick, I thought that I had to have my bars at like. A 90 degree angle exactly but I learned and I've watched Alex do this trick over and over on the video that it's actually a lot easier if you go a little bit past that 90 degree point um, it's easier to hold on to and you have more bike control so uh, number three always run a kink frame and wear etnies no that don't matter but it might help um, another thing too is a lot of taller riders or a lot of riders in general like wider bars these bars came 29 wide I cut them down some specifically for this trick I can't bar spin but I do the shit out of one hand manuals so it helps clear when I'm doing this when I'm doing that trick if you don't feel comfortable um, you think your bars are too long and it like scrapes off your gut or whatever then you should probably not do this trick unless you have a longer frame or you're really good at manuals and you really want to try this trick. It's really fun once you get to learn it. Um, another thing too is when you first learn, you're, you're gonna kind of want to go to a slow medium speed. I guess if you go too slow, you're not going to be able to do the trick for too long and you're just going to beat yourself up. So anybody that manuals knows that if you go to a medium speed, at least it's always easier to manual. So another thing too is know how to bail and try not to bend your rim and stuff like that. So if you're up in the one hand manual and you have to set the front end down, just kind of like immediately step off or else you might bend your rim or go over the bars or something like that. Um, I've never bent my rim or one over the bars. If, I, if my tire does scrape down, I might just be able to lift it back up and continue the trick or else just easily step to one side so um, this trick does put a lot of wear and tear on grips. It's not really like wearing them down, but I don't use grip glue and I wouldn't recommend using grip glue because if you do, your grips are pretty much, you know, like melted on your bars till you cut them off. So when my grip bunches up from doing the trick a lot, I just usually take it off and clean it. And by that time, both of my grips need cleaned anyway. And then I clean them real good and I'll rotate them. So um, just a little tip. Uh, and then you get better at the trick. You can do variations like I've done one hand manuals to manual to 180 out or one hand manuals to manual to feebling, like feeble grind a ledge or something like that. So uh, uh, I don't know, there's really not much else to say about it. Um, oh yeah, very important. I stretch before basically every time before I ride this is one of my go-to tricks but I think it's pretty important that if you're learning this trick and then you get them dialed in it's still important to stretch like do back twists and stuff like that and stretch out your arms and pretty much you're gonna want to do a whole body stretch before you try this trick because getting back like this you can take a toll on your back I've never gotten hurt doing this trick um, I just have a lot of fun with it, so, um, you know, stretching is always a good tip. Yeah, I guess I'll try to bust one more. I might try to throw in a variation before the end of the video, so.
That's how you bail. Yeah, just getting started here. I've been off my bike for over a week, so I'm not going to be able to really 180 out of it or nothing, but I've done it. And uh, see, already just from doing a couple of these before, or today, I mean, my grip's starting to bind up right there, so I can just like pull that back into place, whatever. No worries, but over time, if you don't keep straightening out your grip, it can bind up, so no big deal. If you know how to take your grips off, clean them and put them back on, your grips can last a year to two years. So uh, one more thing before um, the end of the video is, you see Alex Vesquez when he does them, he just, he's so, he was so comfortable. Go watch his Sputnik videos and Amity videos. He was just so comfortable doing this trick that he just, had his hand regularly placed on his grip. I can't really do it that way. I have to move my hand in a little bit, so I'm pretty much holding inner bar right before the bend. Helps me with leverage a whole lot with the trick. Uh, and last thing, obviously, if you're left foot forward and you manual left foot forward, you're gonna wanna turn bars to the left. If you're right foot forward and you manual right foot forward, you're gonna wanna turn your bars to the right. So, um, yeah. Any questions, drop a comment. Thanks for watching. Go ride.